This is Crazy and Neutron's Blogger. So for today's vlog, we'll be talking about blood clotting. So ito yung namumuong dugo in related to HRT po. So, but before we will dig into the details of the blood clotting, let me define first what is blood clotting. And blood clotting is actually a clump of blood that has changed from liquid to a semi-solid or or a gel-like state po. Yun po. So in Tagalog, ito po yung namumuong dugo. So when the, the blood clot forms in the arteries or veins, it won't always dissolve on its own. Uh, this can be very dangerous or life-threatening situation. Po. So ganun po mga kasis. There are two kinds of blood clotting. This is yung thrombus and uh, the embolus. Po. The thrombus is the blood clotting that is stationary. So meaning, this blood clot, they don't move, but they can block the, the blood flow. Po. Okay, the blood circulation. So the embolus naman po is blood clot that is break loose, which may, uh, which is more dangerous. They can travel into the other part of the body. Then, so again, and there are two kinds of blood clotting. We have the thrombus, which is the blood clotting that is stationary. Ito po yung is nakastay lang sa isang parte o sa nakastay lang siya sa ugat. But yung isa naman is the embolus po. Ito po yung uh, ito po yung blood clotting na pwedeng mag, na pwedeng ma-dislodge na pwedeng mag-travel sa ibang parte ng na katawan mo ganon so which is the most dangerous blood clotting po actually symptoms differ depending on the location of the the clots po for example the clot po is na sa arms sa legs ano po yung mararamdaman what uh, what is the what are the signs and symptoms could be the redness swelling warm tenderness and pain like intense cramp on your legs or arms po into your abdomen it could uh, it could be serious stomach pain diarrhea, diarrhea vomiting the heart when the clot is already on your uh, heart po uh, it, the signs and symptoms could be uh, breathing problems nausea dizziness sweating pain heaviness on the chest then into your lungs naman pop up of blood tachycardia shortness of breath Sweating, fever, sharp chest pain. Then, sa brain, headache, dizziness, difficulty of talking, weakness on your face, arms, and legs. Uh, sometimes it's very big. So, for example, sometimes you are uh, experiencing stomach pain. Then, kala mo lang, that stomach pain, kain ka lang ng, uh, or na food poisoning ka lang, or sometimes in, may nakain ka lang sira na pagkain. So, hindi mo alam pala that uh, serious abdominal pain is or serious stomach pain, diarrhea, and vomiting is already related to the uh, to the blood clot that is lodged at your abdomen. For the brains, the heart, the lungs, actually mostly, uh, ayon, you can pinpoint naman the signs and symptoms agad, agad. Kaya mag, uh, magsisik agad to go to the emergency room. So blood clots are also classified by where they form at, in the first place. Okay, we can divide it into two arterial blood clot and venous blood clot for the arterial blood clot this the blood clot lodge on the arteries po. as we all know arteries carries blood away from the heart the arterial clot blocks the blood and oxygen from reaching the organs it can lead to tissue damage po. for example um, this is from the brains when there is a blockage in the brains it will uh, it will lead to stroke. Heart naman, it could cause heart attack. It could also uh, often occur in the legs, the feet, then kidney. Related with intestine in the eyes, po, and etc. So, ganon. So, it could also be sa venous clot, wherein the clot is found at the ve veins. Po. Because, uh, there are three superficial venous thrombosis. The blood clot that forms in the veins closely at the surface of the skin. Then, the next one is the deep vein thrombosis. Po. Yung deep, it is a clot that is formed in your vein deep in your body. It usually happens in your legs, thigh, uh, pelvis, but it can also form in the, other part, in the other part of your body like your arms, brains, intestine, liver, and kidney. So, another one is the pulmonary embolism. 
it is a deep vein thrombosis that breaks off and travel to your lung. This is the most like uh, threatening when there is uh, a blood clotting that is that travels to your lungs. Po. Siyempre, lungs is the one that uh, supply oxygen to your body. Since there is a blockage on uh, the lungs, then siyempre, mahirapan kang puminga and there is a shortness of breath. These are the most threatening case when you are uh, taking HRP, when you develop the pulmonary embolism, heart attack, and stroke. Po. Hormone replacement therapy talaga is actually associated with blood clotting. Mostly sa mga synthetic HRP. But actually, even though it is bioidentical hormones, it could also develop blood clotting. Po. So for those trans transgender who are taking bioidentical, Pwede pa rin kayo mag-develop ng blood clotting po. Kahit bio-identical hormones po yung tinitake nyo. Siyempre, mas, mas risk po to develop um, blood clotting when you are taking the synthetic HRT po. Oh, how can we decrease the risk uh, to develop blood clotting while taking HRT? Or how can we improve blood flow po? Okay, number one, get up and walk around every two to three hours po. Let's avoid sedentary lifestyle po. Kaya tama po yung sinabi nila, yung sinasabi nila, oh galaw-galaw para hindi mas true. Yes, that is true po. Because you need to get up, to walk, uh, to do your physical activity para to improve your blood flow po. Para hindi naka-stop yung blood mo. Every two to three hours po. Uh, prolonged standing po. Okay, hindi rin po maganda yun. Then, to, uh, prolonged sitting is not also maganda. So you need to move. If there is a prolonged standing within the day, you need to elevate your uh, your legs for, for uh, b uh, blood backflow po. And pr kapag prolonged sitting naman po, you need to stretch your leg to facilitate blood circulation. Po. Like yung mga transgender who, uh, whose work is like the call center which is prolonged sitting talaga, you just need to stretch your legs through. Okay, do the leg exercise po. For those naman like nurses, teachers with a prolonged standing po, uh, ang ina-advise ko is elevate your legs after work. Do seated leg stretches, especially during long trip po. Okay, when you are uh, going to, like you are sitting at the plane and you'll go somewhere and you will be sitting like 23 hours, something like that. So you need to do leg stretches po. Okay, to for blood circulation. Okay, then next is raise your legs six inches above your heart. Okay, kaya nga maraming mga trans women no po, who are developing uh, varicose veins dahil walang uh, blood backflow po. So when you're taking HRT, there is a slow down of blood circulation meaning may paglalapot ng dugo. Meaning, hindi nakakaakyat agad yung dugo throughout your uh, body po. So, kaya prone ang mga transgender to develop varicose veins. Sabi ko nga sa inyo, when you, work, when you are working and have the prolonged standing position, then you need to elevate your, your legs after work. So, Enjoy regular physical activity. Like what I've said, yung mga, uh, yung sinabi nilang, galaw-galaw bawal maestro, tama po yun. Kasi, ambulation will facilitate the blood circulation. So, next po is, no smoking and uh, drinking liquors too much. So, again, sa mga nag hrt po, I am emphasizing na wag manigarilyo at uh, uminom ng alak po. Tapos, next, eating a healthy diet po. Low fat, low salt diet. Okay, more fibers po tayo dapat. Dapat healthy foods po tayo. Next one is, stay hydrated. So, you must drink a lot of water. At least 8, eight glasses a day. So, that to, to facilitate blood circulation po. Para hindi concentrated yung fluid mo sa katawan. Ganon. Then, maintain a healthy weight po. Then, do exercise to maintain your health, healthy weight. Then, avoid self-medication of HRT if there are medical problem like hypertension, diabetes. Like, well, uh, ideally, dapat hindi tayo nagsisalp medication ng HRT pa yan 
kahit uh, ang HRT po is over-the-counter drugs po, we should consult the doctor, the endocrinologist. Ganon. Tapos, para, para ma-assess kayo if you are prone to develop blood clotting. Uh, then, taking supplements with anticoagulant, anticoagulant properties like the routine, ginkgo biloba, the 4G, and etc. So, I think that is the least that I, that I can suggest to take supplement na, na makakatulong to avoid a blood clotting. Like yung routine, ayun nga, you can go to the pharmacy and ask for any routine supplement, something like that, ginkgo biloba supplement, uh, supplement, ano pa, uh, yung 4G na nabibili sa pharmacy, meron yan. They can facilitate. Uh, they can improve your blood circulation and to avoid blood clotting, po. Okay, but this supplement is not a treatment, po. Kung meron na kayong blood clotting, an example of routine, po, na pwede mabilis sa butika, po, is ito. Yan, yan. Aspartame. Okay, so yam pwede yung mabilian. It is a combination of aspartame and vitamin C. So maganda may vitamin C ka namin anti blood clotting supplement kapa. So the 4G also. Kung gusto nyo, kasi nga, 4G, maganda rin, may ginkgo biloba, may ginger, may grapes. Ayun. So, ano pa yung isang ginger? Basta may apat yon na G. So, pwede nyo inumin yon na mga supplement to improve your circulation. Then, if you are, if you think that you, uh, that you are suspecting blood clotting, then consult your doctor immediately for laboratory tests and procedures po. Ganon. Then, always consult your doctor while taking your HRT para maiwasan natin or maagapan agad yung blood clotting. So, mostly, ang pinakamatay talaga ng, ng trans woman, ito pong blood clotting na ito. May mga trans woman kayo na napamababalitaan. Sabihin nyo ang lakas-lakas nila then suddenly namatay po sila. So, mostly, ito po yung pinakamatay ng mga trans woman. Like the stroke, uh, yung pulmonary embolism, nahirapan due to nahirapan huminga, ayan, tapos, ayan, heart attack as well. Be careful po sa take ng HRT. Like what I've said, if you have a medical problems, medical history, history po, huwag kayo mag-take ng HRT, basta-basta. So, you need to, to ask doctors for their opinions po. So, uh, sorry mga kasisi, thank you so much for uh, watching my videos. For any clarification, please uh, drop message on my Facebook, to my Instagram, and also, if you want to join my group, then this is my group. Po. So, thank you so much. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share my video.